Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. I briefly wanted to chat about a few things that the devs have confirmed over the last few weeks, lots of different little things, uh, and a quick talk about PC Gamer's visit to the Los Angeles studio. So PC Gamer recently produced a couple of articles on Star Citizen, specifically focusing on Alpha 3.0, which I will link below. Uh, I want to talk briefly about the freeform press demo that they played, because uh, it's a bit different to that of GameStars. PC Gamer visited CIG Los Angeles to play a build of 3.0. 3.0. They landed on the Daymar moon. This is in contrast to GameStar's press demo where they travelled to Delamar and then Yella and they got out of their ship and they explored the planet's um, or the moon's surface, completed the mission and then sped across the moon on a Nox bike. Whew! Um, landing on the moon was described as monumental and the reviewer felt like a genuine virtual astronaut. Uh, the transitions were all seamless, taking off to the uh, space station, flying into space, making quantum travel jumps, um, then going to Daymar and entering the atmosphere and then landing. They note the ability to change your movement speed while on foot using the mouse wheel is a really wonderful experience. From walking to jogging and then running and then back down again, it feels very great, uh, very awesome there. Um, they uh, will be talking more more about this in their September edition of PC Gamer magazine. Uh, they, they'll be talking about a new mission they completed, uh, a visit to the uh, former mining colony, which I'm assuming is Levski, um, and uh, the multiplayer battle that they got into on Daymar as well, which uh, I would very much like to hear. Um, and what's it like to fly in some of the ships and the like, speeder and that sort of stuff. Um, so they also got to check out several new features um, and um, they talk to, um, I'm assuming Chris Roberts and some other people about Star Citizen 3.0 and beyond. Um, so we'll have to wait uh, for a little while. I will grab a copy of that PC Gamer magazine uh, or digital article and then do a quick overview of that too. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to their experiences and what they asked and how it differed from GameStar's recent article. Some... Um, dev chat on Spectrum. They confirmed a few things this week. Spectrum will be getting voiceover IP support, so Star Citizen will be getting voiceover IP support. The first iteration of it is, will be very similar to that of Discord, but eventually it, they will be adding uh, full radio channel style functionality and spatialized voices in game. So, um, they're even working on video game calls between characters on Moby Glasses using voice over IP and render to texture. So I'm assuming you will literally be able to dial up and see another character's face and see them speaking um, as if they're speaking to you with their voice over IP, which will be very exciting. We'll have to wait and see exactly how they implement that and exactly what they go for. Um, as with everything in Star Citizen, it's constantly in flux and changing, uh, although there are now some, some more solid... Um, foundations to that with alpha 3.0 coming soon the game changer so i mentioned the game changer ben lesnick mentioned the game changer it was specifically um in relation to a conversation that ben lesnick had with batgirl um saying there is a ship that will be coming out at some point that is going to be a game changer and it was confirmed that the tumbrel cyclone is not the game changer so um although there is an aa variant of um, that, that cyclone, which basically is the first missing link between air, ground and space combat, it's not the game changer. The game changer is mechanically uh, game changing and very cool. We will see um, tanks, tracked vehicles, static ground defences and player bases in the future as well. Um, so that should all be very exciting for people. I'm very much looking forward to um, those tanks and some of those ground vehicles and pretty much everything I just said, <laughs> really. Um, it's it's one of the things I love doing in games, building bases, um, uh, having solid ground combat uh, in this sort of game uh, will be very exciting. And as um, Aaron said in my interview with him, there's going to be quite a large scope of ground combat where it's very combined arms. You can be from space, you can be in the air, you can well, effectively orbit and bombard areas, um, and players will need to attack bases and clear out those static defences before using their ships or before coming in full force, um, which is very exciting. The Cyclone is on concept sale until the uh, 2nd of August, as well as the Lynx and Urza Rovers. They're kind of available in some of the Cyclone packages too. Um, and I noticed some updates to the Urza Rovers page where it's now listed as being able to carry four SCU uh, but there's loads of pretty pictures on there now too um, of it being used moonside which I'll put in the video that you're watching. Uh, the website uh, as well as the ship and vehicle stats pages for Star Citizen will all be getting an update too soon and this should put everything in much better perspective and be able to compare 
um, everything relatively to each other much better. So I'm very much looking forward to that as well. I'm going to see lots of ship buyers, guys, and that sort of stuff from content creators as soon as that goes live. The Evergarty, Evergarty test build or ETF um, is going to be coming extremely soon. Once they've pushed out all the major bugs, um, we'll, we should hopefully see an Evercarty build of that. There were some hoax emails going around, um, apparently some phishing scams and some interweb shenanigans. It is likely that once Evercarty goes live or to the goes to the Evercarty that that early early PTU build, um, that it will be announced publicly that it's gone to Evercarty, or at the very least it will be announced sneakily on Reddit, and you'll be able to tell that that's genuine. You won't be like, is this genuine? Um, or it won't be someone scrolling or clearly photoshopping or whatever. Eventually, when the Evercarty have smashed out all those early big major bugs, um, it will go to the first wave of PTU, and we will see all of the content in the world exploding from streamers and uh, YouTubers alike. The Moby Glass and Kiosk Peaking. So you will be able to see another player interacting with kiosks and their Moby Glass, but you will not be able to see the literal position of their mouse and their GUI current selections. Um, though that, that's technically possible technology-wise for them to do, um, for privacy and security reasons, they don't want to display the exact state of a UI across the network. Um, but you will be able to effectively peek and you will be able to, in some situations, discern information, um, which might be useful if you're bounty hunting someone or if you're a pirate or if you're trying to collect information and intel and stuff. Um, it's probably going to be quite hard to do and I don't think people have to worry constantly about people peeking over their shoulders because I do think it's I don't think there's so much information that you get at a glance although we'll, we'll have to wait and see what form of emergent gameplay and tricksy shenanigans take place um they will be bringing back the larger expandable hangers in the future too but not for alpha 3.0 I believe we're also going to have quite moddable hangers uh, that we can make additions to in the future, add rooms to, um, kind of like early base building, I, or you would suspect. Um, animations with um, like snapping animations, they want like the animation transitions between um, ladders and cockpits and different actions to be um, kind of as smooth as possible with as less snapping as possible. Um, though there are going to be issues if players want to do running jumps onto ladders or crouching from odd positions, some snapping or camera change might occur, but it's going to be as obviously high fidelity and as minimal as possible when it comes to snapping animations and stuff looking a bit odd and, or jagged. Um, relays article. So um, Relay.sc have done an extremely good article on the new scope of planets, moons, and systems for Star Citizen. It's called Star Citizen Astrometrics Going Deep. It's worth checking out as Star Citizen is likely to release with a smaller amount of solar systems now. Solar systems? Blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, but it's actually likely to have a lot more in terms of content and detail now. Quite genuinely, many more hours of gameplay in each little area. I will be covering a more up to date. Um, what are the planned features of Star Citizen's release as it currently stands in a video soon. Um, as changes and additions have been many, um, basically, and CIG don't do a, com like, communicate um, some of this very well. Naughty, naughty CIG, bad, bad miscommunication. Um, so, like, stuff on the website just hasn't been updated. That's because they're updating in a major way, and they haven't changed a lot of this stuff, which is for new players, that can be quite daunting and confusing. As well as confusing is more of the term. But I'll be doing a video on that and hopefully CIG will be a bit more um, happier updating stuff for their new scope as it changes. And it is constantly in flux. But um, I have very much trust in CIG for producing a game that I love. And I will hold them accountable in any way, shape or form I can. The joy of open development is that our feedback directly um, relates to how the game will be evolving and what they'll be doing with it and if we go no we will not stand for this then they'll change stuff and if we go actually once we get it into our hands oh this is actually good whatever then great but um you're allowed to have your opinions i want people to express their opinions uh, i do not want people to be um trolly or aggressive to each other you know constructive constructive feedback um, and people might have different opinions from you. I don't know. Well, I'm ranting now. But anyway, every month we try to give away a ship for July. It's an ox queue. All you need to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and comment on any of my Star Citizen content during that month. Do you have any questions about the development of Star Citizen in general or Alpha 3.0 or anything else that we've discussed? A special thank you to my Patreons who allow me to create the amount of content I do. If you are interested in becoming one of them, a link to Patreon is below, as well as a link to everything else we've talked about. And there's also an additional chance uh, this month to win a Cyclone uh, to... Uh, um, all you need to do is check out my channel update video, uh, which I'll also link, and um, I did recently, uh, for more information on how to win. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the verse. Woo! 
That's the sound of lasers in the verse. Pew!